Determine the regions where the following functions are increasing or decreasing. So what's our procedure? First, we're gonna find the critical points. That's gonna divide our region up into pieces. And then all I need to do is to check our derivative at one point in each of those regions to determine increasing or decreasing. So if positive, increasing, if negative, decreasing. So our first function is gonna be f of x equal to x cubed minus 15x squared plus 27x. So to start, I take the derivative. What do we get? We get 3x squared minus 30x plus 27. So we factor this, so a three comes out, and then what I'm left with is x minus one times x minus nine. So we're gonna draw the real number line, and then I'm gonna mark off the points one and nine. One and nine are gonna be my critical points. In this case, since the derivative is equal to zero, they're gonna represent horizontal tangent lines to the graph. Now, I need to check a point in each region. So what do we do? Well, on the far side of one, I'm gonna use zero, that's gonna give me 27 for the derivative, that's positive, so I'm increasing on the left side of one. Between one and nine, I'm gonna use two, I put that in to my derivative, what comes out? I'm gonna have three times minus seven, minus 21, that's negative, so I'm decreasing in that region. And then on the other side of nine, I can try 10, that's gonna give me three, times nine times one, which is 27, which is positive. So I'll be increasing on the region x bigger than nine. We want to drill a little bit further into this. We would note, since at one, I'm going from increasing to decreasing. So that looks like increasing to decreasing. That's gonna be a local maximum. At our point x equal to nine, we'll note we're going from decreasing to increasing, that's gonna be a local minimum. Next example, let's try f of x equal to x squared minus three over x minus two. It's the same procedure. We're gonna take our derivative, we'll find the critical points. It's gonna separate a real line up into a bunch of regions, and I just check one point in each region. So I take my derivative, that's gonna be using the quotient rule, so remember, low d high, less high d low over low squared. So what do we get? So I'm gonna have x minus two times derivative of the top, which is two x minus x squared minus three times derivative of the bottom, which is one, all over low squared, which is x minus two squared. Now when we sort out the top, what are we gonna get? We're gonna wind up with x squared minus four x plus three. The top factors into x minus one, x minus three, in the bottom I have x minus two squared. So our critical points are gonna be at x equal to one, two, and three. Now note two isn't really a critical point because our function's not defined there anyway. Note at two, we're dividing by zero. So that's really gonna be a vertical asymptote. Okay, so we should get rid of that. Now, that's still gonna mark a division on the graph where I would need to check each side. So what do we have? I'm gonna check a point in each region. So here, we'll go with zero, one and a half, two and a half, and four. As I check each of these, if I put zero in there, what comes out? Three fourths, that's positive, so I'm increasing. If I put three halves in there, we're gonna have a half times minus one half, okay? The bottom is always gonna be positive because we're just taking a number and squaring it. So I only need to check the top. So we're gonna be negative when I put a one and a half in, so I'm decreasing. Also note, I'm not too worried about what the actual number is. All I care about is the sign. All right, we go with two and a half. So that's gonna be in the top, one and a half times minus a half. So we're negative there also. So that's gonna be decreasing in this region. And then once I put a four in there, the top's just gonna be three times one, which is positive. So increasing on this region. If we wanted to go a little bit further, Note at one, we're going from increasing to decreasing. So that's a local maximum. At two, vertical asymptote. At three, we're going from decreasing to increasing. So that'll be a local minimum.